Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a watch that represents something of a last dance for a classic couple. This is the Gerard Perigo Laureato Evo 3 4 Ferrari F2004 Chronograph GMT. Released in 2004, this watch was a one-year-only special edition, one of only 249 made. It combines classic elements of the Gerard Perigo Laureato. It combines elements of the Laureato Evo 3 sports watch chronograph, elements of the Ferrari Enzo Ultra High Horology model from 2003, and because it is a modern, seamless sports watch form, it still reads as a new watch even over a decade later. But like I said, one year only, the last year of the official marriage between Gerard Perigo and Ferrari before Ferrari's ill-starred dalliance with Panerai. This watch represents the last of the line, but also the peak of the evolutionary chart for the Gerard Perigo Ferrari. With all the modern standards, Gerard Perigo in-house chronograph movement, and an unusual roster of complications, even for a complicated chronograph, this watch has a lot to offer besides standout colors and standout design. First and foremost, let's put it on the wrist and talk a little bit about the features of the case and the strap. Now, although it is a 44 millimeter titanium, alternately brushed and polished case and bezel, the bottom line is it fits very secure. And this despite having the conforming lug and strap combination that sometimes makes a close fit to a smaller wrist challenging. Gerard Perigo did its homework with the ergonomics of this model. And so even on my six and a third inch, 16 centimeter wrist, you can see it fits quite snug. Now it's a very deluxe arrangement in as much as there's also a full titanium deployant down here. And the strap being natural rubber vulcanized and stabilized for long life is very supple against the skin. You can also see from the side that there's definitely a camber to the case in as much as the lugs begin that downward bend that flows seamlessly into the strap. It's already starting the flow of the strap downwards and that's part of the secret of this watch's fit in spite of its broad 44 millimeter span. Now the case itself and the bezel pay tribute to the classic Gerard Perigo Laureato. You can see at the base of the bezel where it joins the case, there's also that expressed bezel gasket, you know, bringing the machine from the inside out because this watch, this Laureato line, hails from the 1970s and the lineage of the great Gerald Genta models of the mid to late 70s. Watches like the original Patek Philippe Nautilus of 1976, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak of 1972, the combination of bold geometries, base metals, visible gaskets, again, just expressing the mechanical essence of the watch. And this Laureato, especially with its octagonal bezel, really pays a sort of thematic homage to that first landmark Laureato model, a model that remained in the Gerard Perigo catalog for over 30 years. And the 2003 Laureato Evo 3 was the last and the greatest generation of that watch from a sports watch perspective. But there's also a great deal of content here that's inspired by that Ferrari Enzo model of 2003. Now the Enzo combined a perpetual calendar, it combined a tourbillon, it had a chronograph, and a bezel, a dial, and a case combination that looked very much like this one. This one borrows the color scheme and some of the complications, including the 24-hour subdial and second independent time zone, as well as the triple register chronograph. And if you look, when I activate the chronograph, you can see that there's center chronograph seconds and center chronograph minutes, so that the two most essential indications when reading the time from a motorsports chronograph, where shorter intervals tend to be pertinent, can be read directly off the radial indications as opposed to the subdials. Easy to see at a glance, like the rest of the dial, heavily loomed, high visibility, glows like a torch at night, and the standout colors make it easy to spot and easy to read in the day. Also a tribute to the Ferrari is the combination of these standout colors, which is not just an arbitrary flight of fancy, but a direct reference to the complex instrumentation seen on modern Ferrari road cars, as well as F1 models. Now, if you've ever seen the inside of a modern Ferrari, you know that the multicolored displays are now a fixture, and that's exactly what's being referenced on this dial. More than just the colors, and I'm not sure if the iPhone picks it up entirely, is the carbon fiber base of the dial. It is a woven true carbon fiber cut from the actual material between the titanium of the case and the carbon fiber of the dial. Even the materials are a direct homage to Ferrari Motorsports. These two materials in Formula One, heck, in any type of motorsports today from Formula One to endurance sports cars at Le Mans Racing, 
These two materials are standouts and signature, and the reference would be immediately apparent to a fan of high horology or motorsports, many of whom have considerable overlap in their interest areas. And once again, as a collectible piece, as a piece of horology, there's a lot to recommend it. Gerard Perigo is a true manufacturer, so not only do they manufacture the entire movement, um, being highly expert in the construction of automatic winding chronographs, and they had been for several years, over half a decade when this watch was created, but they also construct cases and buckles, making them one of the few manufacturers, along with the likes of Patek Philippe, Rolex, Jezir Le Coult, that can truly construct every part of the watch, including the packaging. They do a great job with this one, too. And the bottom line is that the entire presentation of this watch, the backstory, the success of the Girard Perigo for Ferrari line from the 1990s to the early 2000s, the fact reflected on the case back that Girard Perigo and Ferrari were together for the entire span of Michael Schumacher's five driver's titles and six constructor's championships for Ferrari. It was a golden era for both manufacturers, the road car constructor and the watchmaker. Gerard Perigo rose up after years of basically being an etablisseur, assembling and modifying other people's movements. From 94 forward, when they joined up with Ferrari, they were focused on making their own movements, in addition to the cases that they'd crafted so expertly for so long. Ferrari, with the arrival of Michael Schumacher in 1996, rocketed back to attain its historic reputation as the manufacturer par excellence on road and track. It was a resurrection of sorts for both brands. It was a beautiful journey. And again, this watch marks the end of the line. There wasn't a whole lot of success down the road for the Scuderia after the parting of Gerard Perigo and uh, shortly thereafter, Michael Schumacher himself. And for that matter, Gerard Perigo ran on some bumpy roads during the mid-2000s as it fought with a declining market in the late decade. But both are more or less back on track now. And if you're following the Formula One season for 2015, I can't think of a better companion on your wrist for clocking those motorsports minutes and seconds than this Girard Perigo Laureato Evo 3 for Ferrari F2004 Chronograph GMT. See it on our website, Watch You Want, with all original factory boxes, papers, and accessories. If you're into watches, if you're into high horology and high performance cars, I have a feeling this just might be the watch you want.